Okay, gonna <laughs> try to finally start this vlog. It is quarter to three on Wednesday. You guys are literally balanced on a pack of Costco toilet paper. <laughs> I don't have a tripod and I think this might be a little bit of a longer clip to just hold the camera, so. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to Wednesday. It has been a crazy day. Just an absolutely crazy day. So what have you missed so far? <laughs> Started off fine. Had my mammogram today. So that was kind of, that was actually fine. Um, although, well, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. It was my first mammogram. So that was... <laughs> interesting everything was new didn't know what to expect but I checked in waited out in the main waiting area then they called me back gave me a gown and then they have a little changing area I was a little worried about that part because I didn't know what the gown would be like I was worried it was gonna be one of those horrible paper ones it wasn't it was a nice cloth one and they had different sizes so I had a gown that actually fit me properly it wasn't tight it wasn't uncomfortable so that was good got changed they had lockers to lock your stuff up and then took the key went and sat down in the inner waiting room um, to be called back by one of the techs to go into the actual imaging room so just waited there for like two or three minutes and then i was called back and the lab tech was really nice, you know, explained everything that she was doing. I told her it was the first time I was getting a mammogram, so she was probably a little extra nice, but she was a very nice woman. And the mammogram went fine. I was in and out pretty quickly. We only had to do one image per position, so it was four total. It's not the most comfortable thing, but it wasn't as painful as I was kind of prepared for it to be. I thought it was going to hurt. A little bit more than it ended up doing so that was great and then I was done so I just went back got my stuff got changed and left um, and that's when the drama started <laughs> so I think I just kind of hooked something on the um, underside of my car when I parked I had heard like a scraping in the undercarriage a bit just the underside of my front fender and that's happened before I have just have a small car so it's pretty low to the ground and so sometimes I can clear a parking barrier like a parking curb and other times I can't if the curb is too high I will run up over it if I'm not careful and so on the drive home as I started getting up over a certain speed I just started hearing really awful noise <laughs> um, it didn't start right away but yeah so I don't think it was Thinking back on it now, I don't think it was the actual fender part. I think it was the bit underneath that ended up continuing to cause trouble. So I managed to get home because the imaging lab was really close to my apartment. So, and I didn't have to drive out down any busy roads. I, I crossed some, but I wasn't driving on any busy roads. I get home, there's no warning lights going on. You know, my there's no low tire light. So I was thinking, do I have a flat tire? But there's no warning lights, no indicator lights, nothing going on to alert me that there's a problem. So whatever it is, it's all like external and not connected to any sensor. So I pull into my parking spot and I get out and I go look and I see my front fender is like popped out of alignment and like hanging about an inch or so lower than it should. I pop that back in and think, okay, I, I need to go to the house. I was just supposed to drive back home, grab my stuff and go. So I didn't want to bring my work bag, my laptop and all that stuff to the imaging lab with me. I'm like, I'm just gonna drive around the block and just see um, if it's still making the noise. At first it wasn't, but then as I got onto one of the, not main roads, but out of my parking lot and going like over 25 miles an hour, I started hearing this noise again. So I pull over get even lower down and see that there's another bit that is like not where it's supposed to be it's like hanging down almost to the ground so reach in kind of fiddle with that manage to get that like tucked back up where i assume it's supposed to be decide to go check my mail 
um, drive into my apartment complex and kind of make a loop through the middle of the parking complex, check my mail, found a very lovely card from my friend Annie. So thank you, Annie. I don't know if you're watching these at the moment, but if you are, thank you very much. I'm currently reading, there's another note that was inside the card, so I'm currently reading the very kind letter that she sent me. This has been a little rainbow, a little bright spot, and an otherwise not so great day so far. So grab my stuff, get on the road, drive over here. Halfway down the highway, I start hearing the noise again. I got off the highway, turned into a residential neighborhood, somewhere safe to pull off, got out. The fender was still fine. The fender still seemed like it was popped back in place because I was worried that like highway speeds and the vibration of that might do something. I looked and the piece, the other piece, looked like it had fallen back out of place again. So pop that back in and I still hear this noise. So I call my dad while I'm driving and say, it's still making the noise, can you call the mechanic by over here by their house that I go to see and tell them what's going on and ask if I can just bring it there. Because I figure worst case, I drop it off, leave the car with them for however long, mom can always drive me back to my place to get an overnight bag if I need to spend the night over here until it's fixed. So he calls me back and says, they said to just swing on by. So I swing on by. Guy comes out, he gets down a little bit lower than I was able to and sees a bit that I hadn't been able to see that was, even with it, with the main piece being popped into alignment, saw that there was this other bit still hanging down. So he's like, if you can wait, I'll drive it back around to the guys, we'll lift it up, um, and we can just cut that piece off. It wasn't, I guess, that important. <laughs> so they say it's fixed. They say it should be fine. Um, I shouldn't have any more problems. I'm gonna keep an ear on it. Of course, next week I have to start <laughs> driving to campus again. So it's like, I just, I don't need anything wrong with my car right now. Um, thankfully, I'm only going to campus one day a week, so it's not like I have to drive a ton. And I can also take surface roads the whole way there and back if I have to, if this happens again or something. I think it's fine. I drove around my parents' neighborhood a little bit, went to Starbucks, got my usual Starbucks, managed to get up to about 50 miles an hour in a couple places, and the set, it sounds normal. It's fine. So I get home, sat down, was just about to do my syllabi, um, was I have to, had to upload those when I got a text from the imaging lab saying that more imaging is required and to call and schedule. So I now I'm gonna have another mammogram and an ultrasound on the right side next, next week, I think it is. I'm trying not to worry about it. My mom told me that that was a possibility that we do have a history of like cysts and stuff. So if they wanted to do more imaging, you know, not to panic. So when I got the text, I was like, okay, I'm assuming this is what my mom was talking about. So I'm not gonna get worried. But it was just this feeling of, first there was the stress with the car, then I thought I'd fixed it, then it started doing it while I was driving. Car problems stressed me out to no end. So just as I was like finally home and sitting down and starting to eat something um, and have my latte, I get this text and then it just ramped me right back up as far as stress goes. So I got that scheduled and then went to upload my syllabi, got those uploaded, and then a new email came through. And it's fine, it's actually a good thing, but it's just like, I should have waited another like hour. <laughs> so things have changed at the university. They are now requiring masks on campus for everyone. Somehow this gets around the law. I don't understand it because I didn't understand what the law was specifically about anyway. So I'm assuming that because it's now required for everyone, regardless of vaccination status, that that gets us around it. So masks are now required, which makes me very happy. <laughs> Feel a little less stressed about next week now. But then the message from the department chair was, please update your syllabi. So I just posted my syllabi. So opened up the files again, changed the language, 
saved new copies, deleted the old ones from the thread, and uploaded the new ones. So that is where we are at as of now. My car was busted, now it's not. Mammogram was fine, then it required further imaging. That's now been scheduled. Syllabus was posted, new language came out, syllabus has been revised, and new syllabus has been posted. I think I can finally get my day back on track, but as I said at the start of this clip, it is now three o'clock. This has been a good chat. <laughs> this has been a good vent. I'm gonna go finish reading Annie's card and letter, and then I'm gonna get to book work. I've got the puppies snuggling with me when I can convince them to, so I'm gonna try to salvage what's left of the day and get some work done. <laughs> the rest of yesterday after I talked to you guys went fine just snuggled with the dogs got as much work done as I could we had chipotle for dinner so that was yummy it's just been a quiet morning I didn't sleep for very long but I did get more deep sleep last night than I have in absolutely ages I got over two and a half hours of deep sleep so I actually feel okay despite the fact that I only got like six hours total. I'm feeling a bit drained from how chaotic and stressful yesterday was. I don't know how much I'm going to get done today. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on myself. So mom and I looked over the description and the tagline yesterday. I think that's good. So looking at my checklist document. I still need to do my cover files, but I've got my title, I've got my tagline, I've got my book description, I know my categories and my keywords, I've got my back of the book bio, and according to my checklist, my cover illustration is done. And the front book, technically I guess I can, I haven't saved the file, but basically the ebook cover is done because I've put the new tagline on it. So the ebook cover is pretty much done. I just need to generate and save that file, get it uploaded into Vellum. I'm still working on the print cover because I need to generate a file out of Vellum and see what my final page count is. So that's one of the things I'm gonna do today. So it's really just finishing the cover and finishing the book interior. So my goal for today is to finish the interior and hopefully finish the print book cover. I wanted to do some illustrations for the back cover. I don't have time to do new illustrations, but I have some little test sketches that I think are good enough, especially if I shrink them down. So they're not gonna be that big. So I'm going to copy those with my light board and then scan them in. I'm not stressed, oddly enough. I'm not stressed about this. I enjoy this. I enjoy writing my books. People always ask me or say, you know, how do you do it? Or I don't know how you do it. I enjoy it. I mean, this this is my hobby. This is how I want to spend my free time. And I have free time, especially right now since I'm not working full time yet. I do enjoy this. This doesn't stress me out. What stresses me out is not having the time to work on it. So like yesterday, part of the stress was knowing that all of these little things were taking time away 
from time I wanted to spend on my books. So it's fine. I'm just going to put on a bunch of YouTube videos and just get as much work done as possible. I do need to log back onto my work laptop. So with now masks being required, which is great, thrilled about that, not complaining, but now it's this just flurry of activity to get new official language to put into our syllabi. Last night I got an email from my director saying that they were coming up with some official language and they were extending the the deadline to submit our syllabi so I got an email this morning with that revised language so I just need to go in copy and paste resave re-upload it should take me less than 10 minutes total anyway I'm not gonna think about it it's fine it's all fine I'm gonna go get some food and some coffee I need lunch I need coffee I need to just kind of decompress a bit. I've had therapy this morning. That went fine. But yeah, I'm ready to just kind of get on with the rest of my day. And it's only quarter after 12. So I'm hoping in the next like five hours, I can get a good amount done. It's a good day. That's what I'm telling myself. All the stress of yesterday is yesterday. I'm not going to carry it forward into today. So it's a new day. Gonna get as much done as possible. It's all going to be fine. <laughs> I'm making progress, just not fast enough. <laughs> All that's really left is the, the paperback cover. So that is what I have been working on for a couple hours, few hours. What, what time was it? I think it was like just afternoon when I talked to you guys. I ended up talking to Tamsin for a little while. I started doing my syllabi revisions for the new mask policy while I was talking to her and then finished that up quickly. And then I went through the vellum file, kind of just did a quick visual proof. Everything looks fine. Figured out my final page count, created a template for that. So that's what I'm working in now. So I, ha I have the illustration in here. I've just hidden it down here because I want to save something. You guys kind of know what the covers are going to look like, but I want to save the final, final cover for a cover reveal. So I've got that hidden. I can also hide the color block for the back so that I can see where my text is. So everything has to be within the red and there's red lines and then there's dotted lines. So everything has to be kind of centered within all of that. So this hasn't been centered yet. I think the front cover is as centered as I can get it. What's frustrating is because it's print on demand, there's always some variation in the lines. So it can end up being slightly over. So like this is technically the trim line, this black dotted line here, but it really could end up being anywhere between this dotted line and the end of this red line. So there's variance there. You do the best you can, but that is where we are for now. Um, so I've got a description. I've got kind of a second tagline, the description, my picture, and the bio. I have tried, so my original idea was to have a mini version of the shop, the whole shop on the spine. That 
won't fit. It would be d too shrunk. And I think it was Amelia who suggested doing just the door. Because my idea is the front cover will be the whole business of each business and each book in the series. And then I wanted to do something on the spine. And so I liked... I'm happy to go with that idea and put the doors on the side. And then when there's three, four, five, six books in the series, if they're all on the shelf, you'll see all the little doors lined up on the shelf. I'm not sure if it's working. It's, you know, I, j I did my best to get a little kind of crop of the door. I think I need to try to crop it some more. So I think that will work. I think I might let it go, just do it. And if it's not totally perfect, it's not totally perfect. And because I don't want to totally give up on that idea of having something on the spine, I'm gonna go take a bit of a break, go sit in my armchair for a little bit, step away from the computer monitor, and then see if I can get these other illustrations sketched out and at least imported. And we'll go from there. It is now 5.35, I took a break, I had a snack, <laughs> I watched a YouTube video, sat back down at the desk, got some more sketches done, outlined these three little doodles. I'd had some rough sketches of them in various places, so I just did a good line trace, scanned these in, scanned them as three separate images and then imported them into Photoshop. They're all still individual images and files, so I can put them into Photoshop separately or make a separate collage, so I might do that. Because they're, I think they're kind of cute. I think they turned out okay. So right now, this is how they are. I have colored them in, but that's it. So they're just roughly placed. This will stay down here because this is where the barcode is, so I thought it would provide some nice balance to have an image, the barcode, my picture and bio, and then the description and two other images at the top. So I still need to figure out how I want these to be. I might move this over to the side and have the book with the coffee cup. So I'm still playing with the layout of the back cover. I will mess with that tonight while I watch TV so I can just put this on my laptop while I am chilling out. And then I think the cover's done. So I'm gonna try to get it completely finished, save it as a PDF and send that to my mom tonight before she goes to bed to have her look at it and just have one more set of eyes on it. But I think we're just about done. But I'm liking the cover so far. It's coming along really well. And I'm just, I won't lie, I'm really proud of myself that I managed to get the, these little doodles done. It ended up not taking me as long as I was afraid it would to get them traced and scanned and everything. And I just think they're gonna make just enough of a difference to the back cover. So I just need to get the overall layout correct. It's not gonna get done today like I was really hoping to be in this vlog, but I feel like this vlog has been dramatic enough. 
with everything that happened yesterday. I feel like this vlog is like half story time of just my crazy day yesterday. Tomorrow, on top of this, I also really, really, really need to work on some class prep. I didn't get nearly enough work done today story of my life. There are days where a lot of stuff doesn't get done and today was one of them. But I'm going to focus on what did get accomplished and I'm happy about that so far. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I have no idea what question to ask. This vlog will go up on Monday. So let me know how your weekend was. That's really all I can think of. My brain is done. It is completely done. Teaching next week is going to be so fun! actually teach next week will be fine because all I have to do is introduce the syllabus the week after next. That's going to be the challenge. Tell me how your weekend was. That will be our question of the day. You will see my weekend in the next vlog, but it's just going to be finally getting this book uploaded. Hopefully. I feel like I've ended two vlogs now that I've had to cut that bit out because it ended up not getting done in the next vlog. It will get done in the next vlog. Give the vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. All of that great stuff. Let me know how your weekend was. And I will see you all in the next vlog. Thank you very much for watching this one. Bye!